Hope you're having a good day. Wanted to quickly show you what I'm doing. I have Blackview dash cam all around my car. So in the front, you can see that this is a 4K uh, resolution. Blackview DR900S. Um, this is Law Moody going to the bank. But I put it on the side. Going around in the bank. This is um, actually this is a different model. Uh, DR seven fifty S only has like ten eighty p resolution. Lastly, um, so the idea is to have a three hundred sixty degrees. Um, viewing angle okay i wanted to quickly show you the inside view of the install cameras here's the front which is the uh, 4k resolution camera it is right behind the rear view mirror here's a side camera the other side and the rear view camera. You can barely see it while you're driving. So I have these hot wired to the car. So then it can provide um, recalling um, in parking mode. So due to coronavirus, I've been working from home for the past couple of weeks. And the camera is doing a great job on um, recording 24-7. However, I don't think it is necessary, especially when the car is parked in the home garage. I know that the uh, newer Tesla cars, they have sentry mode, which can probably be turned off um, via the setting. Um, however, since, you know, this is a older Model S, which uh, doesn't have uh, the side camera or the sentry mode, and the Blackview model, uh, the firmware currently does not support uh, turning it off or detecting, you know, whether the car is parked in the garage. So this past weekend, I spent some time uh, researching and coming up with some idea of uh, turning it off automatically when the car is parked in the home garage. Um, which I'll be showing you next up. But basically, um, I will use a device called uh, Sun Off, which can be bought, bought um, online for a few bucks. Um, it has to have the uh, the Wi-Fi feature. So then, the idea is that when the device, uh, it's basically a um, switching device. So when the device detects or connects to the home Wi-Fi, uh, it should turn off, you know, the uh, the switch automatically. And when it is not connect to connected to home Wi-Fi, it should um, turn the switch on. So then the camera can start recording. All right, let me go inside. I'll show you uh, what the device looks like and. Um, you know what the uh, custom program that I wrote uh, in order to do that okay see you hey welcome to my working from home setup this is a uh, Dell Ultra Sharp monitor 34 inch um, this is the device that I was telling you about um, it is called Sun Off SV it is basically a uh, switching device that has Wi-Fi feature. Just to show you how big the device is uh, relative to the pen, it is not that big. I have started a header to this board over here, which is connected to another board called an uh, FTD programmer. Um, it is hooked up 
to a use USB port on this side. Um, I'm using the Arduino IDE. So the main feature of this program is to automatically turn on and off when the car is in the garage or not. Uh, the other feature is to allow uh, the user go to a web page and to manually turn on and off uh, the switch. Um, you know when the car is in the home garage and connected to the home Wi-Fi. And lastly, uh, the program also allows the user to um, upload the firmware without the you know all this. Uh, cable and connect it to the um, to the USB port of the computer um, basically you can just leave this son of SV in the car in store and without ever like you know uh, getting it out and it provides the uh, uh, over the air um, upload capability so far I have tested the program via simulation um, by plugging in the USB to the laptop and looking at the program logs. Okay, next I will show you in the real world how it works of me driving out the garage and back to the garage uh, to see the camera in action uh, being turned on and off. See you. Okay, I'm back to the car. Just wanted to quickly show you that uh, this project is not invasive meaning that the OEM wires are not cut so then um, in the future if you want to remove the camera or and or the uh, the relay switch you can re remove it and test that will not even know about it um, so as you can see this connector over here is the wire that's coming from tester 12 volt uh, always on cable and this white thing is um, a fuse holder which is in the in between the uh, the hot wire and this goes uh, goes out I have a split uh, that splits to um, the front camera and the back camera but basically uh, the front and back you know uh, are two channel camera each so then I will need to split these so basically the idea is that you know this relay switch I'll be putting in between the the Tesla hot wire and um, before it coming out from the from the um, splitter to the camera so I will now go in to the house and solder the wires so then this relay can be put in use here's a soldering job um, I just did so here's a connector from Tesla's uh, 12 volt always on going through this uh, sun off SV uh, save voltage relay switch um, don't worry about the um, the color of the wires the blue one is actually hot wires and the reddish wire is actually the uh, the neutral and so that's the output and I mean sorry input and the output is the same the uh, the blue wire is actually the um, the hot wire, and the red is as a neutral. Hot wire, as you can see, going through this um, fuse holder, and because I have two cameras, um, which is two channels each, I split the hot wire between the two connectors so this end going through the um, the cameras okay just want to quickly show you um, 
so the back side, the way, so the way I solder it is, so you can see the back side, I had the solder joint. Same way onto this side. So it's easier, I find it easier to solder it from the back. I'm back to the car again. I wanted to quickly show you this amazing pilot slash invention before I install it to the car. As you can see, electrical tape is used to wrap around the places where I think we have a chance of shorting out. Also notice that these are these two are the LED uh, lights, indicator lights which are not covered by electrical tape. So I just pack it in for the um, very initial first test. You can see the LED light is on which means it's powering up the camera. The reason it is powering up is because when you first plug in So right now it should be connected to the home Wi-Fi and after 5 minutes of idle it should turn itself off. Powering down. Powering down. Looks like it's working. Now my final test will be leaving the home garage and the camera should power itself up. Fingers cross. I'm outside the garage and the camera is still off so I'm going to leave the, ho the house and you should hear that um, the camera will be turned on also there's no delay uh, when the camera is turned on um, which means the, the home Wi-Fi is not connected.